Hi guys, today we do an unboxing and literally something just about, it's so big, I literally can't even get in a picture. It's my Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. It just arrived. I ordered it um, two days ago. I will quickly film this one and hopefully you put this video up the same day and so you can have a look at it. But I will get it out of the box and then we go from there. So I literally had to put this on the floor. I managed to find a way in the box. Ta-da! And this is how you, it's at the moment still on the floor. I think what I will do is I will get um, the products out and then we go through two by the, day by day. So it comes with a booklet talking about all the products. That's great. Um, if you do not want spoilers, <laughs> don't watch this video because I will open every single bit up. It looks very, by the way, this is heavy cardboard, very sturdy. Um, I I think it was called Beauty. I had one of these before, um, and yeah, long time ago. I didn't have any um, Beauty Advent calendar last year, but this year I will get two. I will get this one, which I have already, and I will also get the Marks and Spencers one, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, very nice. Um, as you can see, the drawers, they open actually um, quite nicely. So you can use it for something afterwards. Um, let me actually check quickly. What I would recommend... If you want to use it for something else afterwards, turn them around and then you don't see the numbers. The only thing is you don't have then the little gripper, but um, you might be able to glue a little textile thingy on the front or something to pull it out. Or the other option, if you want to use it for something else afterwards, um, just put stickers over the numbers. If you don't want the numbers to be visible um, or painted even like in a monochrome color or just save it and fill it up with other things next year um, for an advent calendar or fill it up for someone as a present. But let's get started. I will get everything out, put it on the table, and then we can go through the products. Okay, there we go again. I have to, in between, exchange the products because I just can't get everything on my desk. And I want to put them back in like how I got them. Um, so first thing number one um we have jordan samuel skin this is hydrate the mist moisturizing spray um apparently for dehydrated skin to reveal a dewy skinish the bottle is made of water so it's really heavy it's quite a good size 120 ml so it's a full size that's actually what why i was willing to pay a lot of money for the calendar it was 215 pound in the uk but it comes with a lot of full-size products and what i also make sure before i buy an advent calendar that I actually like at least 80% of the products in there. Otherwise, it's not worth it, except you want to try new products. But you should make sure that even the ones you want to try are actually products you really want to try. Otherwise, it's not worth it buying them. This one is a product um, I was nonplussed. This is um, the 20% of products I don't really care. But um, it's quite a nice size and I would definitely try. So this one is actually a product I wanted to try. Um, this is the Brio Geo or Brio Geo. Um, this is charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. It's quite a good size. It's um, 59 ml or two fluid ounces um, scalp revival. And yeah, I will. I'm actually looking forward to these products because I hear I have I hear from other people, but they are quite expensive if you buy them in the full size. It's so actually having quite a good um, sample size, which this should be at least um, two three hair washes depending on how long your hair is, of course. So I'm very happy of this. Next product, again, a product which I really wanted to try for a long time, the Victoria Beckham Posh Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Pout, which I think is a pinky shade. I wanted to try her lipsticks for a long time, and um, I have some of their, some of her eyeshadow, or actually one of her eyeshadow palettes, and I like it. So there we go. It's quite heavy packaging. I'm guessing it's metal with like a tortoise print on it. It's a full size, so it's, does it say how much is in there? Uh, two grams so let's open it up there we go victoria beckham logo yeah it's very pinky i don't know why they always put these pinky colors in the advent calendars there we go and let's swatch it okay it's very light i wouldn't say it's super pigmented looks shiny I will leave it on my hand to see if it dries down. It doesn't smell like anything, by the way, in case you don't like that on lipsticks. But yeah, this is a product. I'm really happy that it's in this calendar. So very much looking forward to use this one. Then 
door number four. Again, a product I had before, but I'm very happy to have because it's actually one of my favorite products from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow um, BHA and... Oh, it's called HAA and BHA um, Toner. It's the PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. This one I had in a full size and from all the Glow Recipe products I tried, this one was actually my favorite. So I'm really, really happy I have one of these ones in my life again. Very happy. I will use up my other toners again. I have at the moment on the on the go, but super happy to have a small one of this one. And even that small one is actually quite a good size. It's 40 mil, which is very good. Then this one is also a brand I really wanted to try. It's the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup uh, Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So this is a good size. It's 50 mil. And I always hear people raving about it. Oh, there we go, by the way. It's the front. Um, and I just really wanted to try it. They're actually not too expensive um, if you buy them. There we go. comes with a little spatula. But again, it's not like, in case it's nothing you really, you don't like it. It's not like something I would splurge on. Because my one of my favorite, all-time favorite cleansing balms at the moment is the one from Aldi, La Cura. Where they, um, I think they did a copy from some other brand. But yeah, it's my favorite one at the moment. But this one, I'm very happy to try. Let's open it up. It smells like nothing to be honest yeah just like a really I'll actually put that back in because we want to be precious about it but yeah just a typical cleansing balm they're these cleansing balms um, that actually when you put them on the skin they turn like into some sort of oil and really melt your makeup away and then you just need to um, wash it all off I always use them as a first cleanse and I really enjoy them for that so I'm, this is one of my hype products i'm definitely super happy to try out then door number six we have tinted live hue glow face body um 50 mil i looked this up online it seems to be like some sort of this in the shade dawn by the way i think it's some sort of um some sort of glow product um you can just mix into your makeup in your foundation or use it by its own um there we go the bottle feels like it's plastic, but it feels like um, rubbery a bit. Let's shake it and then let's have a look. Okay, it's like this, like a little spout. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is very metallic. I like the um, a lid, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay, this is not a product I would use... Um, by itself on my skin but it's certainly something i would either mix into my foundation or use it um maybe as a dabbing it on as a highlighter to be honest it it doesn't have a smell really um which is nice it now that i spread it um it is actually oh wow it's really subtle once you spread it so that's good because when i first looked at it um it looked literally just like pure metallic drop but yeah, actually, I would maybe actually use it um, by itself, looking at it like that. So I will try it out. I will play around with it a little bit. But um, this one was a product I was non -classed. I wouldn't have bought the calendar for it. But now that I have it, um, I'm actually quite intrigued to try it out. Then this one was a product I did want it. Um, it's from Shiseido, the Vital Perfection Firming Cream. Um, 15 mil, good size. I just like Shiseido products in general. And... Um, I often shy away from buying their creams because they are quite expensive and if you don't really know what will work for you, it's quite a splurge um, to get like a full size cream. But having small samples, definitely worth it. There we go. It's just like a white face cream. It, it, has, it doesn't seem to have a smell. So that's good. It just smells a bit like skincare. So very happy about that. Next product, I'm also very happy. Um, this is from Augustina Bada, the face oil with TFC8, um, which is apparently their special thing. And um, it's a good size. It's a 10 mil size. Um, usually for 10 mil for a face oil, it should last you quite a while. And Augustina Bada, again, it's one of these hyped brands I hear a lot about. There we go. This is how the oil looks like. I will smell it. It smells like nuts, to be honest, like hazelnut. Um, what's actually in there? Apparently it's a feather white, feather featherweight oil and it triggers cell renewal. Hmm, okay. So I will feed back on that one. Um, I will, I'm really excited to give this one a try, actually. 
definitely a good one. Then, number nine, door number nine, we have the Sweet Pro Lash Lift Mascara. Um, I'm usually tend not to open mascaras because um, they don't last too long if you open them. This is really light though. It feels like there's no product in there. I will open it up. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, wow. Focus. It's one of these interesting brushes where one side is literally no bristles at all. And the other side you have like these little um, silicon bristles. It's interesting. It does smell like mascara. You know when you have fresh mascara? Not in a bad way. But yeah, I will try this one actually soon. I'm quite intrigued by it. But this is one of the products I didn't really care about in the calendar. Now, door number 10. Door number 10, funnily enough. Um, there were two products in that one. So we have supplements. This one I wasn't really, I didn't really care about. Um, it's high potency vitamin D dietary supplement vegan soft gels 30 um, quite a good size vitamin D to be honest in winter time in the UK I definitely can recommend it um, because vitamin D is very important for your um, immune system and vitamin D usually you can you can't really um, take in with a lot of food it doesn't really it's not really produced in food vitamin D is usually produced by your skin when you go in the sunshine and in the UK in the winter time we don't have much sun at all actually to be honest a lot of time of the year we don't have much sun here which is why we are all very pale um, living in the UK but um, so vitamin D I do usually have anyway as supplements in winter time so I don't mind this and I'm happy to try this out um, so glad with that and then this one was of the products I was really looking forward to, or not looking forward to, I was happy to have again. Um, I have already one of these. It's from Supergoop, the glow screen. It's a 15ml size, SPF 30. This is a really nice S SPF. And actually, let me get my open one, because I don't want to open this one. Uh, so this is my open one. Um, and it's just such a nice sunscreen. It's like a, like a clear gel, but um, it goes nicely on the skin. It wears quite well under makeup at least under my makeup i can't really speak for everyone i have quite um i have combination skin but my dry patches my skin can actually get that dry like i have eczema and i still can wear this and um it's okay for my skin type so i can't talk for anyone but this is quite nice to have as a sunscreen for the face so always wear sunscreen that's what i can say if you don't want damage to your skin but yeah these are the first 10 doors let me do a quick swap over Okay, there we are back. Um, I actually left the products this time in the drawers because I realized some of the drawers this time, some of the other numbers, you have so many products within a drawer. So let's get started. This is drawer number 11 and you have the other side, Pure Elements, Wild Carrot Serum Concentrate. Carrots are usually tend to be good for the skin. Um, apparently you're supposed to mix it into your day cream. It's a 5ml size. As you only need two drops, apparently, um, it will last for a while, I guess. I don't care about this product, but I will try it out. <laughs> this is one of the products I was like, Oof, don't really care. Now, this one was, I was really happy that this is in the advent calendar. This is number, door number 12, and this is the um, autocorrect brightening and deep puffing eye contour cream from Sunday Riley. And this is a 15ml size, and for an eye cream, this is actually a full size, I'm guessing. Um, well, eye creams are usually, you don't need much, so let's, I will pump some out because I want to see it, there we go, oh, okay, so this is one of these eye creams, um, which have like a gold shimmer to it, so it has a really, really light pigmentation in there, it smells nice, um, happy to try it, so this one was actually, um, focus, I'm looking forward to, then door number 13, um summer fridays oil free cloud dew oil free gel cream this is a full size it's 50 ml which is very big i don't know about this brand so this one was one of these products um i'm happy to try but i'm not like oh yeah i really need that comes with a little spatula by the way which is very hygienic if you use that for your creams it's a glass jar let's open it up There we go, it looks pink. It smells like nothing, to be honest. Slightly, slight smell of raw ingredients. Um, feels nice and cool on the skin. 
happy to try it out, but don't really have an opinion about this brand. But yeah, I would definitely try it out. Let's see. Does it actually say anything? Let me quickly have a look in my smart booklet if it actually says anything about that. A cocktail of ceramides or ceramides and hyaluronic acid that floods the skin with lightweight lasting hydration. Okay, that actually sounds quite quite good. I like hyaluronic acid in my skin care because um, when you have dry skin, this is actually something that's um, really good for you. Then, next product, um, Oskia, the isotonic hydra serum. Um, boosts, protects and balances moisture levels. Again, happy to hear that. Hydra, I have dry skin. It's a glass bottle, by the way. And it's just like one of these milky um, serums. So there you know how it looks like. Then, it's always hard to describe skincare really on the camera. Then another Biogeo product, um, which I was happy to have. And this one was the um, deep conditioning mask, which just goes, I guess, with the other one. So happy to try it out again. It's a good size. Um, yeah, looking forward. Then next product. I was actually really happy to have this one again. I had this one before. Um, door number 16. It's from The Ordinary. It's the nice cinnamide in sink um, serum. I had... I didn't even have the full size before. I'd like the huge big size from that one before. Like this is the 13 mil size. The bottle I had was like the 60 mil size, which um, price wise just made more sense. But I did like this nice cinnamite one and I'm really happy to have it again. The only thing is it has zinc and I sometimes cannot use it when um, my skin is like really sensitive. But um, once my breakouts are gone, like when, when my eczema starts to calm down, I actually can use this one again. And then it is really, really nice. So this one, um, very happy to have it again. Then door number 17. This one I was actually also looking forward to have again. Um, this one was Morton Brown. It's the Jasmine and Sun Rose Bath and Shower Gel. And I had this one before and I really liked it. But Morton Brown, I just found it very expensive to buy like this. So having it in the ad advent calendar at a good price at the end of the day, um, I'm very happy to have this one again. And this one, how much is this one size-wise? I would say it's 100 mil. Oh yeah, it's 100 mil. So there we go. Now, draw number 18. This is why I left them in the drawers. This is how the drawer came out. I was like, what? I didn't even realize. So... A lot of stuff on day 18 in there so I put it here and we just can go through it so we have the um, fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash very looking forward to that fresh products always hit and miss um, I find but I'm really looking forward to that one um, then oh, this one was one I really really wanted to try or one of the reasons I also bought the advent calendar and this is um, an iPod um, from Westman Atelier. There are usually three iPods in their sets and they are like £80 for three eyeshadows. So I would never pay that. This is only one. Um, it's the color Tabac. There we go. The little heart. The only thing with these iPods, um, which I find already quite like, if you want to use it with your fingers, it's quite small to get in there. Especially if you're maybe a bit fat fingered. But let's watch it. I like the color. It's definitely um, wearable. I'll put it next to my Victoria Beckham lipstick. Oh, I do like the color. It's like a bronzy sheen. Um, definitely a good color choice. Oh, they even have the heart on the inside of the lid. Apparently these pots, but I only have one, so I can't really confirm they are supposed to be magnetized. That makes you like, maybe I have something magnetic. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think this one is magnetized, but yeah, very happy to have this one. Then, next thing, um, oh, that's really cute. I didn't realize how small it is. This is from Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Look how tiny that is. This is such a nice travel size, though. Um, let me check. Ugh. Okay, I'm trying to open it. There we go. I do like... Oh, I actually have another one. Look how blurring it actually is. Really nice. Um, super cute little travel size. Um, this I can't. I don't really count as an extra product because it's just so small. I guess this is why they put it in this box. But still, very happy to have this one. Then Nas, the bronzer. This is supposed to be. Yeah, it's the Laguna one. So this one was a product I was also looking forward to. Um, I didn't realize how small it is actually, um, because. 
a lot of people rave about it and I just wanted to try it. So this is clearly samples they put a lot in this box because look how tiny that is. It's actually like eyeshadow size. But it even has a mirror, how cute. But yeah, this is the um, famous Laguna Bronzer. I will swatch it next to Westman Atelier. Oh, okay. Oh, that actually might be a really good match for me. Because bronzers, I'm always like, mm, you have to be careful. Not that I'm on the market for new bronzer at the moment. I have so many and I need to use them up. But I'm very happy to have this cute little one. Then, Natasha Denona, Macro Blade Liquid Liner. I think this one is a, supposed to be a full size. Um, let's see how that one looks like. This one was actually also something I was looking to try. Okay, I do like the packaging. It feels like metal, but like brushed metal. Okay. Looks good, and to be honest, doesn't look much like... Oh yeah, it's bleeding a little bit, but not much. Um, very happy to try this one out. I don't have too many backups of eyeliners at the moment. So, very excited about this one. Then, next product. Um, Too Faced, Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, I don't have to open that. And I think a lot of people know. That's literally, um, that's a small, cute sample size, which actually is very good because mascaras you're only supposed to use for three months, although I use them until they literally dry out. Um, But yeah, next product. Weave Lip Dew Glossy Lip Oil. This is six mil, so this seems to be a full size then. I think the brand Weave doesn't exist that long yet. I've seen it floating around every now and then. It didn't really pique my interest yet. Um, but for a lip oil, I'm always on the market. Ah, oh, okay. That's very shimmery. To be honest, the packaging reminds me a little bit of Wayne Goss. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's actually the Dove Food Applicator. It's a bit like the Clarence lip oil, isn't it? Why do I actually I should swatch it on my makeup hand? There we go. Oh, very shiny. Golden specks, but not too much. Smells nice. Smells sweet. Um, lip oil, always on the market. So happy for that. Then, what do we have here? Dr. Barbara Sturm Glow Drops, made in Germany. 10 mil. Okay, that's even extra wrapped up. Okay, let me get that out. Okay, got it all out of the foil. There we go. That's a good size. Um, it's glow drops. So I'm guessing they have some sort of shimmer. Okay, that's interesting, by the way. There's no, like, stop or anything. So be careful when you open it. So it's a dropper, but I will just put it on there. It doesn't look like... Usually glow drops, I, w I would always think, like, there's some pigmentation in there. They don't seem to have that. So maybe glow, they mean, like, from a sense of... That the product itself makes your skin glow. Um, it does say in the description, transform dull skin and restore radiance with illuminating tone evening serum. Um, I don't know. Dr. Barbara Storm, I, I had products from her before and I was always like, mm, yeah, I, I, they're just really expensive. And I sometimes find like, are they really worth it? Okay, this is another product I was quite looking forward to. Um, this is the Complexion Perfection Buki Brush. So this is from IT Cosmetics. I do like fluffy brushes. There we go. I like the packaging, by the way. It's quite cute. And, oh, it feels nice. Soft. Very soft, but still enough bristles to have some sort of denseness. But yeah, I look forward to that one, to use it. So let's put that quickly all back. Um, day number 18 if you have the calendar um you will enjoy this one because there's just so much product just in day number 18 so let's go to day number 19 and this one was also one of the reasons i really wanted that advent calendar it's a own um eyeshadow palette i think they usually i don't know how much they cost at the moment but they're, they're quite expensive i think they're like 50 60 quid at least um and there was a whole palette in this um advent calendar this is number 75 um and the shades are called, obviously, Nikki Dust, FaceTime, and Jador. So let's open it up. I think they are like a clean beauty brand. And I just wanted to try their stuff um, for a long time. 
but couldn't really justify to buy more eyeshadows at that price. So there we go. The packaging is plastic. And there we open up. Has a mirror. And there are the shades. And that palette is looks actually really nice and right up my alley with the shades. So I will swatch it on my arm. Okay, they feel quite interesting. They feel a bit um creamy but also a little bit gritty. I guess it's the flakes in there. They all feel very creamy, these shades. So it seems to be like a cream to powder formula. But there we go on my fingers. Okay, that will be interesting to see how they pick up on brushes and actually translate to the eye. It's quite interesting. Can you see these bits there? Hmm. It does though, funnily enough. So you have these bits, but when you take your finger, you can literally just break them down and spread them. But I guess that's not for everyone who really wants to do that. Okay, I'm glad I have it in this add-on calendar. I think I don't want to slate this already because I didn't try it on my eyes yet, but I think this wouldn't be something from formula-wise I would really enjoy because you definitely need your fingers for these ones, I think, because they're so... You need to break down the particles. They do... My friend, the camera doesn't do it really justice. Let me move it around a bit because I'm filming in daylight. They are very shimmery. And I do like that. So, But this is literally... I, I feel like this is an eyeshadow palette you have to use with your fingers. So I wouldn't really spend all that money... Um, I guess I wouldn't spend all that money. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it. But I'm really glad I have it in here to try it all out. Now, day number 20. Let's go to the next. Come on, five days left. This is the Tran what? Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. Helps reduce hyperpigmentation. Inky list. I need to check the ingredients on that one. If I actually can use that with my eczema. But um, inky list, I'm happy to try. Then... Used to the people superfood cleanser. I think I had a similar product from them before. This one I was quite looking forward to as, as a product. It's kale, green tea, spinach, and vitamin superfood cleanser. Um, first tea cleansers. I'm always keen on. Oh, this is. Gosh, everything is wrapped up. Stickers. Um, there we go. It's a glass bottle. Very environmentally friendly, and it seems to be very like a shower gel Oopsie. let me smell on it hmm, smells quite nice so apparently it's a nutrient rich gel loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts um, to cleanse the skin so let's see I'm looking forward to try this one then number 22 Alginist this is a full size apparently um, Genius Collagen Calming Relief Boosting Resilience with Vegan Collagen Okay, I do like collagen creams So I'm really looking forward to trying this one This is a 40ml size So, there we go Let me actually show you the cream Ugh. Oh, I can't open it Okay, there we go There's the cream It looks a bit yellow And it seems to be A more thicker, stiff formula but it does go quite nicely on, so it smells good, it smells like skincare. Um, really looking forward actually to use this one. Then, next product, and this one is number three, and this one was also one of the reasons I really wanted this advent calendar. It's the Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Eye Color from Charlotte Tilbury. I have one of her quads, which I'm not impressed to be honest, um, but I really wanted to try her cream eyeshadows. So there we go. Oof. Gosh, it really took me now a while to open this one. This one was so, um, yeah, tight. Then, there we see, it's a good color, actually, which should work for a lot of people. Oh, I took a lot. Um, golden Amber. It's called Creamy. It's called a Golden Amber Creamy Shadow. Oh, wow, I took way too much. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, let me get a wipe. Okay, definitely, that needs to go mostly, but there we go, nice, that's a good color actually, um, it should work for a lot of skin tones, to just try out um, Charlotte Tilbury. Now, 
let's go to door number 24 and 24 similar to number 18 actually has quite a few products in there so let's get them out the first one is AHBHA blend raspberry extract um, glycolic night serum from drunk elephant and yes I'm happy to try this one I have to be careful because again it's acids and um, I have eczema prone skin but I'm really happy to try this one then this one was an interesting one by the way this is a glass jar from Espa this is the grounding crystals apparently it's um, it's bath crystals I saw that in the description of the advent calendar and I actually was quite looking forward to that so it smells very strong so I think you only need a few of them but um, whoopsie oh my gosh I just spilled already some but yeah um, I'm really happy to try these ones then okay next product we have from Kate Somerville exfoliate I had this one before and I'm not like it was actually quite a good one I just wouldn't pay the price they charge for this but I was happy when I saw this one because it's one of the products yes I'm really happy to have again and to use it's a 15 mil size then next product Medic 8 um, C Tetra Deluxe Lipid Vitamin C Enhanced Radiant Serum. This one I have to check because I developed an allergy against a lot of vitamin C products. It's 8 mil size and um, I just need to see. I need to patch test it and if it doesn't work out for me, um, I will pass it on to one of my friends, unfortunately. Um, but then we have another thing. We have eye patches, bubbly eye gels um, from Patcholiki. It's one pack of eye patches, one pair surf chilled so can't say much about it here you can see the ingredients if you stop the video and um yeah happy to have now last one number 25 we actually made it look at number 25 actually look at this big box and it's if you've seen the description of the calendar it's the candle so there is a bella freud candle oopsie which is wrapped in paper there we go loving candle with which apparently is tuberose and sandalwood so oh it's very strong by the way oh yeah it's very strong um but yeah it's glass and i'm looking forward um to use this one it's actually quite a nice smell it's not like a product where i would have said oh yeah i really need to buy the atom calendar because of this candle but um i'm happy to have it so i think my most looked forward product from the whole calendar was actually um the Run eyeshadow palette, um, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Ice to Mesmerize I really want to try, and the Augustinus Bader face oil, because I just find like it's such an expensive brand. And the other product I was really happy about to try out was like the Pharmacy Green Clean, and to have again the Glow Recipe product, um, because it's just quite a nice one. But overall, I'm really happy with everything that's in here, and I will definitely try everything out. But if you buy such an expensive um, advent calendar, make sure that you actually like the majority of the products i would say because it is a lot of money so it's 215 pound but considering what i got i think it's a really really good deal i think the products are all supposed to be 